Favorite, my favorite Ooh, episode of this season. Love so it. good. Oh, you guys actually like it? Oh, my God. Yes. I liked it. I love lot. Amelia. I love learning about her backstory. I thought this was super interesting and understandable. Yay. Okay. It's nice. It's nice seeing uh, uh, Beetlejuice, not nuts. Yeah. You, oh, my you God. Mean, it's you mean so juice? Sad. You mean, you mean yeah, that, juice? That was that super sad, juice? <laughs> yes. He used to be such a nice, young, emotional man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, him and Fortuna, though. Mm, he's uh, yeah, I was going to say, I was happy that. that I got to add Mama Fortuna to the waifu list. Oh, <laughs> right? Ooh, wow. man, them, them, I don't uh, know. I, I don't know where they're sourcing those like Lululemon pants back in those days, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right. You know? <laughs> but yeah, so all, all perviness aside, this episode was <laughs> really awesome. Um I loved learning about young Amelia. She is so cute. Um, and just kind of her promiscuity of, you know, being locked in kind of this room of hers to prevent whatever kind of greater evil or greater truth that they're trying to prevent her from learning about. I think that was really interesting to see. And um, Gius was really great as well. His whole relationship with Fortuna and then just seeing, you know, where he came from to what we knew he was now in, in season one of the show. I was surprised to see him in Amelia's, like, history. Because I think it was mm. Beatrice that mentioned that she was the one that knew, like, like yeah. Juice, whatever. Mm, so, like, so, true. So, I was like, mm. I'm like, why are you here? I thought you were related to, to Beatrice. So, I wonder where she fits in all that. So, mm. and then I just want to say yeah. that, um, uh, like, because I was uh comparing this to when Subaru did his past because uh Subaru's trial is more on his character and learning about more of like his character development where I think Amelia it's much more lore focused so that, I think that's why I really enjoyed it like kind of where where um where you guys didn't really enjoy season two as much because like it was uh, where you guys thought you know it's dragging on too much where mm -hmm. like for me like I I was just like taking all the lore so like Mm -hmm. that, so that, this episode like yeah just more lore for me to like to look onto and try to try to um see what's going on in this world definitely i i think the thing for me as well was the intrigue into the fact of how much geese in the past looks like subaru and is that just because of it's amelia's you know memories that we're diving back into and she's like super imposing that kind of similarity based on kind of the current events or is there something deeper there of like Gius and Subaru are like really similar characters. It's just that these are two different paths that each character went down, respectively. Hmm. If that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I, I never really thought of him like like similar to Subaru or looking similar like Subaru, but I mean, if you think about last week's episode too, like Subaru is basically using Gius's powers. So they're definitely kind of alluding to that in in some sense. It may be a stretch, you know, at the end of the day, but. I definitely can't help but think like they're not they wouldn't do that for a reason of like why they kind of look similar to each other and then why he's inheriting like similar abilities. I just, uh, I'm just oh, really yeah. curious, like because it's I thought the whole thing with him was that um, it was before he was like corrupted by like the the witch factor of the sloth. But then like when mm -hmm. he saw Amelia and he was happy, I'm, is it because like because he, he saw her as like Satelia and he's. That's why he was, he was super happy. He thought that was like his salvation or something. So I wonder what's what's going on there. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't think there's enough info given for that yet. Yeah. As of right that's, now, that's, we still that's, don't that's, know that's, why. That's made me curious. Like, why is he so happy yeah. seeing Amelia when I thought this was supposed to be before being involved with like the witch or the cult or whatever? I mm -hmm. mean, I think it's basically like, isn't it supposed to be like her kid? Or like, you know, Amelia, it was like, Amelia is like the... the like, is it basically like, kind of like hinting like where she's like the like kind of like the child of uh um... well probably important figures but i don't know if it's uh like as of right now it's just speculation but yeah it's possible she could have been the child of a witch or yeah. a child of, like two I'm... important figures we don't know what happened to mama fortuna's like sister amelia's mother and then the husband or whatever no, they, they kind of like alluded to like or go ahead did think, they uh, get more light well, into it fortuna's i think the the, her brother is the father. Yeah. I think that the, oh, sorry. Yeah. The mom's sorry. The human. Mix that up. Yeah. 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 So wait, I just wait, know that they wait, alluded. David, what did you just say? Say that again. Uh, for, <laughs> for, for Tuna is like uh, her or was it the brother? Like her brother is Amelia's dad. Yeah. The the elf. That's and what then I was, the yeah, mom is the human. Up. Okay. 
parents. I thought yeah. it was the other way around. Okay. No, no, it's the the dad is the the elf. So, okay, yeah. So it's kind of just interesting to know like how Gius's group came together with Fortuna's group and kind of what relationships to the brother that they had that yeah. they're you know kind of tasked with bringing them these resources from the outside world because. I think even Gia said it like, you know, he kind of keeps them updated on like what kind of what kind of state the outside world is in well, while they're kind of in their, you know, la la land, like elf hmm. life. I wonder like if they're already like involved with, like the witch's cult because they're like because they're because they're already wearing all the clothes yeah. and they say like yeah, right. they're just saying, oh, I'm sorry we have to do this to you like like keeping you in this forest. So it's like, yeah, it's the cage of sorts yeah, as well. So, like we need more details on that. Oh man, but how do you guys feel about the Archbishop popping dude, up? Dude, like oh, when, he was, when he said he was good. free, I was like, oh my god! Like, was, was, that, the, was that the same guy from the very beginning of? Yes. First yeah. <laughs> okay. He showed up with uh, Gluttony, the other like, Archbishop. Yeah. Did he look different this time somehow, or I, am I, I just wrong? I mean, but... he he is okay. pretty younger, similar, I think. So maybe uh, maybe what, just because he was younger. Was he, I didn't know yeah, he was in the past. Yeah. Did he die? I thought they looked. No, no, he didn't die. No, he didn't die. Okay. I think they looked the same because that's why I was confused when they, you know, in Amelia's memory flashback, he looked exactly like he did in the beginning of the season. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no, Amelia didn't see him. Only Rem, Super and Rem. Oh, you're him. right. You're right. Yeah, uh, right. You're right. Okay, I didn't realize like the the one in the very beginning. I didn't realize he was the Archbishop of Greed. Okay, because mm -hmm. so I'm wondering how Amelia is gonna react then in front of. Like, well, actually, I don't know if she knows. A cat knows the Witch of Greed. Then so there's that, but. It's like, yeah. like this whole season, like it's all about like, like the greed, um, like that faction and like their group. So, like, mm -hmm. so I guess if he is the greed, like, well, how are they gonna deal with him then going forward? Because, like, it's all related to like, now, but it sounds like he's trying to help out like Subaru and his group. So, I'm really uh, interested to see how that's gonna turn out. Yeah, we're gonna definitely need a couple episodes to see how it plays out because it could definitely go either way um mm -hmm. but uh what do yeah, you guys think is behind that door in the forest that amelia came across due to the spirits i don't know the rabbits <laughs> the portal back to subaru's normal world yeah the portal to the real world <laughs> <laughs> or if it's like some witch domain that they're i don't know i, don't I know. have no I idea i wonder if it's like really just parents it wasn't when um, Subaru visited um, Echidna's yeah. realm. Wasn't there a door as well of sorts that they had, or was that just the thing that somebody pulled out? But I think it was, was that like the girl something... that's in like the the torture. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Cameron and she yeah. pulled some like door thing yeah. out. I couldn't yeah. remember if it was kind of similar looking or not. I may just be misremembering, but I don't remember uh, that at all. Definitely seems witch related for sure. Yeah, I want to say it was probably. Uh, it's probably. Like Amelia's parents, like the reason why they're locked up yeah. in Mark Jesus deal is because of her parents, right? That's why there's such a big mystery behind it. Uh, and since she is the Witch of Ice or wherever, I'm assuming her father was also the wizard or Witch of Ice as well. And they had to close them off because maybe they were actually evil. Mm -hmm. um, definitely could be. Yeah, but definitely oh. it's it, it, it's up in the air. So have we... Um... I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know why I'm so bad at following this show, but like with Puck, have we learned yet if Puck is still around and throughout all, uh, throughout all this like um, backstory, do we know where Puck came from or who Puck is definitively? Um, is so, this something I missed? Well, uh, Puck, it, it, it's really weird like trying to understand what's happening around Puck because he was in that crystal that Subaru yeah. threw at Garfield. So that's the last time we've seen Puck. So I assume he's still in that mm -hmm. crystal. Um, where he came from, I don't know exact origins. I just know that in in the OVA, he was with Amelia when she mm -hmm. woke up from like mm -hmm. her her ice her frozen ice um, statue. So, mm -hmm. are are the spirits that Amelia was interacting with as a child were those not like related to Puck in a I way? I kind of want to say no. I don't know. I want, I kind of think they are just because they're blue and like it reminds me yeah. of ice. But yeah. I guess we don't know for sure. Oh, guys, 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 what if, what if, right, Fortuna is actually Puck, and that's See, why... that's what I was thinking she earlier. She had, had to leave him, right? Yeah. 
Because she, they actually sound kind of similar, like just slightly, and I, that's what originally made me think it. But then I thought, well, it kind of seems to me like it might have been a person to Amelia. Or at some point, but I don't I got, know. I got a real big stretch. The fairies, the little blue fairies that could be Puck, were leading Amelia to the door, so maybe Puck is behind the door, and he's really the evil mastermind. Oh. Mm. Big tank. It's definitely not the case. <laughs> Big brain. All right. So whoever's right, uh, I guess they get a free steak dinner next time. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, we'll figure it out. There we go. God. All right. Place your bets, boys. What's happening behind? What's behind door number Who's one? Who's behind the door? Yeah, exactly. Who, who has behind been door really, number one? Who has been really on it this season? So I'm placing bets on Ku. <laughs> it's a self-deemed profit. It's a good yeah. bet. That's the, those are the best profits, sir. <laughs> But yeah, I, I was really happy that this episode went into that lore dive that we were talking about, you know, in previous uh, weeks that we really were, were looking forward to. So we well, got actually, what we asked for. Uh, a meaningful be, lore dive. You, I actually didn't like this episode because of the lore dub, because it's driving you away from possible airtime for solving what's already happening in the real yeah, world. Yeah, true. Because you know, odds are they're going to take another episode or two or maybe three to dive more into this. And then now we have to figure out exactly how it ties into the trial, um, how yeah. they're gonna like liberate, uh, like uh, release the sanctuary, and you know go to the mansion. And solve yeah, because we you don't know. You didn't right, even mention Rem Ku. I thought that was the first thing you were gonna say was that they have to fix Rem. That's it. Rem's no, behind Rem's the door. Well, Taylor, yeah, we have to get out the sanctuary first. Rem right? is so we gotta far get the first on, two out the like... way. There's no way we're getting anything out of Rem. Like we're, we're no, so no, far it's... off from like saving. I've her. got it. Yeah. It's like Full Metal Alchemist. The door, Rem's behind the door. That's where her soul is, or her body, you know. And then they're gonna open it. And then... The truth. Oh boy. Yeah, exactly. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm so. Okay, real quick, I'm so glad I got past that point because I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist right now, too. I was about to roll. Oh, man. Wait, what, for the first time. Everything. Yeah, first time. Oh my god. Okay. I'm I need so to learn glad that. I got past that point. No, you're good. Okay. Next time, if I just start, somebody just start yelling. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, if whoa. you haven't seen it, be like, stop! <laughs> <laughs> no more! Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know, but... I don't know. I think, I think that's a good place to stop, but honest. Mm. I don't know, but... I mean, I'm still enjoying the show. I I think I'm, like, the one who's enjoying the show the most, just because I, like, unlike Ku here, I love this lore dump. Like, I want to know more about, like, the world and its history, and, like, especially the witches. Like, that's, like, the most interesting thing to me about the show. So. Yep. So I'm all about it, even though I do understand like the frustration that we're still in the sanctuary and we still gotta save the mansion. So, and Rem, Rem, Rem is we're fine. not gonna get to Rem. Yeah. No, that's way too too far off. So, but I think that's gonna be it for V Zero. Mm -hmm.